Blame Stacy at all. I think that's a totally reasonable reason to get a pressure cooker because it's cute. And look at this, a two-quart oh. size pressure cooker. It does everything the large pressure cookers will do. It just does it in a smaller capacity. Already 400 of these are gone. You know, when we had this on the air the last time, and it was way back in April, mm -hmm. we had this on the air. It was the end of April, April 29th, and it sold out completely. So we brought it back in stock today. We've got it for you in, I believe, six colors. And... It's two quart capacity with a nonstick interior bowl that you can take out and wash easily, and that is Completely. awesome. Look at that. And look how beautiful. That voice you hear, but you haven't seen a face connected to it yet, is Meredith Lawrence, our Blue Jean chef. She has made a pizza pasta. I know. Look at that. It's a pizza pasta penne or a pizza pasta one pot. There's a whole want. lot of peas up I in there. I know, I know. Pizza but look at that. pasta penne with Parmesan. <laughs> and parsley. And parsley. <laughs> there you go. Wow. But you see, here's the beautiful thing about this is that that makes enough, I think, I would say for two or three people or David. And uh, this is a great little pressure cooker. And the reason we love this so much is because it doesn't take up a lot of room on the counter, David. This, you know, large pressure cookers are great. We love them for our big family meals. But sometimes if you're cooking for two, three, even four people, a nice little pot that you can keep on your counter is great because the things you have on your counter are the things you use more often. Every single item on air and online until 3.59 p.m. Eastern Time, Meredith, is mm. on five pay or better, including your cute little pressure so cooker. So cute. And those apples we just had, and long story short, our phone lines are crazy. Well, you know what? So, because this has gone out, it, this, we haven't had it back for quite a while. People have been waiting for this. Which is exactly it. my point. We're still busy from the apples and now this is making us even busier. So if you can help us out with automated ordering, QVC.com and your QVC mobile app, those are going to be your best ordering experiences. I should also tell you every color Miss Meredith is back. If you want to hold on that pot roast. Sure, I'll wait. I want to show you colors real quickly. And Mike, I'm going to guess shooting a lot down a little lower. Might be a little better because these are all they're great, gorgeous metallic, really nice, gorgeous metallic colors. And we're going to begin with stainless steel. Now I'm going to guess. I'm going to venture. Yeah, well, uh, my producer already let it, uh, uh, let me know it's already most popular. I was going <laughs> to guess it was most popular. So most popular got to be followed by the red. Look at that, spectacular. We call this cinnamon. Actually, here's cinnamon. Then I've got it for you in copper. I really like that copper. It's a little bit different, a little bit darker, more brown, but beautiful. Yes. Then I've got it for you in blue. Move on over to eggplant. And finally, our most limited color is on the very end, and that's the green. I have fewer than 700 green to go around. Already a thousand of these are gone. Now, Meredith, if every item on air and online is five easy payments, does that mean your book is also five <laughs> easy payments? Well, I would guess so. That was I news think to it me would today. Be, that's just like my book news. is five pay yeah. today, right? So if you've been wanting to get Meredith's one pot comfort, um, book and many of the recipes in here can be cooked in pressure cookers. That's right. Then you're going to want to pick up her book as well. Check your with your operators. You can get it on five pay today. And uh, the book is only exclusive to QVC for another month or so. Right. Before it will then be made available elsewhere. So you want to get yours now, particularly on that easy pay. Now, Meredith, this two pound pot roast cooked how quickly? So this is about 35 to 45 minutes. Are you joking? Right, so I mean, look at this and look at it falling apart so beautifully. Have we a fork? We have a fork right there, ready and positioned for you, oh, Mr. Perfect. Venable. You know what, my mother would make pot roast twice a month growing up. She would buy it every other week because that was payday. So mm -hmm. on a payday week, she would if you get a pot roast because that was a treat. Look at that. And she would have to cook it for four and a half hours to get it this tender. Right, on the stovetop or in and the you, oven. Yeah. yeah, she did hers on the stovetop and for four hours. We'd leave it on super, super low while we were at church and come home and the house would smell so good. But it took all that time. This cooked in 35 minutes? 35 to 45 minutes. So it depends on the shape, right? Because mm. it's all about density of meats. Mm. So it it's depends on the... <laughs> I know that. Very close. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Really good. So wow. the thing is, David, when you make a pot roast, it's great. We all love a pot roast. But if you can get a smaller one, then you don't have so much pot roast left over all week long. You can still have, you know, a pot roast for two people so nicely. Uh, you, you know, I love that. Mm. Look well, at that. That's a shame in my kitchen. There's never leftover food. You don't understand leftover pot roast? I have a hard sense? time with leftovers because <laughs> I, they just don't exist in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So this is what's so amazing. We are very, very busy. This is... Okay, 2,500 are gone. Meredith, I'll wipe. Can't help myself. i got to wipe that up. You know what? You there did grits. 
that'd be a nice thing oh, to serve I with know. that pot roast. Um, I made polenta the other morning. Uh -huh. I put a picture on Instagram. I made polenta and crumbled breakfast sausage in Ooh, it. Ooh, yum. And put cheese in it. It was like cheesy grits with well, sausage in it. there you go, it. exactly. Because you know what? Polenta and grits all come from the same family. Right, just it's a different a, type of corn. Oh, and I knocked the cheese over here. That's all, all right. right. There we go. Made a big <laughs> mess Look, with the cheese. So here are some cheesy grits. Of course, David, I know you like your pepper oh, we'll just on put there. Just a little more a little cheese in there since I have some extra over here. Look at that. But you see, grits, you could have to stir and stir and stir over a stovetop. These take 10 minutes in a pressure cooker. Well, you know what? The only day of the week mom made grits was oh, Saturday because that was the only time she had time to stand at the stove right, and stir Right, exactly. Mm. But this makes it so easy. Now, a pressure cooker, of course, works because it, water boils at a higher temperature. You trap the pressure inside the machine. You make sure that lid is locked. With these uh, pressure cookers, the lid locks on. You cannot open it if the lid is locked. Best thing oh, ever. Oh, good. Mm. So good. I love it so much. It's so nice to know how to make somebody happy, isn't it? You know what? It doesn't take much <laughs> of me. You, you do some cheesy grits, I'm right there. Happiness is but a bowl of grits away. Um, can I tell you that we have now taken orders for over 3,200 of these. 3,200 are gone. QVC.com mobile app is the best way to get through. Let me show you colors. You will get a measuring cup and a scoop Yeah. with this. This is a little tool that comes with it. Um, I think they call that like a rice paddle. It's like a rice paddle. Yeah. yeah, rice paddle. Paddle, thank you, not you spatula. Go. Here it is in stainless steel, most popular. Next to that is red, next most popular. Cinnamon, better, better, bigger, bigger, bigger. Cinnamon, here's the copper. From copper, we move over to blue. I have fewer than 900 left in that blue. Next to the blue is the eggplant. And finally, most limited is the green. 400 now left in the green. 3,500 of these are now gone. Please don't wait on this because we are super, super busy. Sold out back in April, which was the last time we had it on the air. Meredith, I get numerous requests from our foodies mm -hmm. who say, can you please bring in appliances and develop recipes for two people. Yeah. Uh, a lot of folks live alone. Right. That means it's one serving for dinner tonight, it's the leftovers for tomorrow. tomorrow. For a couple, maybe an empty nester, yes. you know, a couple whose kids have gone off to college or something or gotten married and moved away, this is perfect for that. And nice for a new married couple, oh, maybe just sure. starting out. Absolutely. Right? You know, and it is such a great size. And this is actually a full function pressure cooker. And I would like to just go through that control this. panel for you just to show you. Talk because slowly. It has, it has two pressure settings, a high pressure and a low pressure. That's really helpful and handy. It has a slow slow cooker feature. So you can actually use this as a slow cooker in a low slow cooker setting. Plus you're going to see all the other uh, settings down here. It has a delay start. You can adjust the time and temperature all by itself if you want to. And then you'll see all the other features. So it has a eggs feature. Boiled eggs in the pressure cooker, six minutes, so easy. But all you have to do on this machine is actually press eggs. It can cook rice. It can do the chili for you. It has these preset buttons, but you can adjust everything manually. So if you have a recipe that you want to follow, you can do that. Now, this is a recipe. Where, did David, is David still here? I mean, no. oh. <laughs> he's getting through that. I love these scripts so much. It's good so thing much. we got two quarts of it. To so anyway, this is a recipe, David, from my new book. It's a pasta e fagioli, or pasta fazool, as they would say in this part of the world. Yes. But and, look at that. that and this is, is in your new book. Beautiful, warm soup that heats you up in the wintertime, and you can make just two quarts of it here. Now, if you are following a recipe and you want to say, hey, I only want to do it in my two quart, it's really quite simple. You just cut that recipe in half or in a third, right? and then you can go ahead and do it. Now, if you are interested in learning more about converting recipes, you can go to bluejeanchef.com, and I have a whole section on Pressure Cooker 101. There's information there. I don't know how the weather is at your house today, but on the East Coast oh, today. Oh, that is hitting the spot, isn't it? Are you talking, are you ready? It's not even supposed to break 60 degrees today. It's funny. It's raining all day, a slow, steady rain, uh -huh. right? So tonight, it's going to be in the 50s. I'm going to go home and build a fire. Oh, nice. And then make some kind of comfort food. I haven't Beautiful. quite decided yet. Right. But this is the night that you start to welcome autumn. We welcomed autumn last night, mm -hmm. the official start of autumn. Mm -hmm. So and why not cook for autumn? And, and the autumn said, okay, but I'm here. Thing, David, when you want to go home and you want to think about it, and you haven't thought about what you're going to make yet, a pressure cooker is a great way to start because a pressure cooker, of course, cooks things in a third of the time it would take on the stovetop. So David hasn't decided. He still has time, if he's using a pressure cooker, to go to the grocery store and make dinner after he gets off of work You know what? Today. The grocery store is a right turn on my way home, too. It's easy in and easy out. I wonder if they planned it that way. Well, yeah, I think they knew where I lived, and that's why they <laughs> built it there. They might have. Um, but, hey, I need to let you know now that 5,000... 500 of these pressure cookers are now gone. Uh, Stacy and Lydia, any questions on the chat about the two quart? Everybody pretty good? Yeah, you 
they've been fine. They love, yeah. they love it. Yeah. Every, oh, awesome. Okay, so this is the stainless steel. From stainless steel, we go to cinnamon. Cinnamon, next most popular. I have 1,100 left in that cinnamon now. Here it is in the copper. 700 left in the copper. Oh, my. I think we're going to lose some colors. Here it is in the blue. 600 left. Eggplant, 900 left. And in the green, only 200. Now, Meredith, we have some cook time comparisons. And I think for folks that are maybe new to pressure cooking, this yeah. is something very impressive. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Instead of cooking, you know, a, a pot roast on the stovetop, you know, and it takes 28 to 33 minutes per pound. You can do it in 15 minutes per pound. So if you take a look at that, it's half to a third of the time. All of these ideas here, a whole chicken in 24 minutes, you can do that in five minutes uh, per pound in a pressure cooker. So it really does save you the time, David, but that's not to me the biggest feature about pressure cooking. What to me is the best part is how the food tastes when it comes out. That savings of time is a major bonus for sure, but when you can do pulled chicken in 10 minutes that's crazy. of a pressure cooker, that's fantastic, right? We are very, very busy. We've now taken orders for 6,500. So since your last update, another 1,000 of these have flown out the door. This is five payments, and you're not reading that incorrectly. Everything on air and online for this four hours is five pay or better. This is five payments of $8 each. If you want the Pennsylvania Dutch mm -hmm. uh, chicken, pot pie. chicken pot pie, it's one of the recipes in Meredith's new book, which is also one five pay for this four hours alone. And you made this in the pressure cooker how quickly? So in the pressure cooker, you can make this in about 10 minutes. Now, is that for me to taste? Oh, sure. Let's hit it with a little black pepper, because that's what I do. Because you love the black pepper. I do love black pepper. But look at that. Pennsylvania Dutch pot pie is a pot pie that has actually sheets, square pasta sheets in there instead of a uh, pastry. So you still get that kind of a, a doughy addition to that pot pie, but look at that. And it's pretty, and it's comforting. And it's a great day for it. It is. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so to me, that is when you ever chicken... had food that makes your shoulders relax. Oh, that's great. I, yes. yeah, I love that. My friend Carla Hall that used to be on the Chew uh -huh. used to say that comfort food should hug you back. That's nice. Yeah. Don't hug the food unless unless you, you're prepared to get burned. Because sometimes <laughs> it's too hot to hug. It is true. <laughs> yeah. But comfort food hugs you back when you take that warm, comforting bite and it warms you all the way down to your toes. We started with over 12,000 of these pressure cookers. If you want stainless, Oh, come over here. If you want the stainless steel, I'm still loving on that um, chicken pot pie. Oh, good. All right, so in the stainless, we have fewer than 2,000. In the cinnamon, 700 left. In the copper, 350 left. In the blue, 400 left. In the eggplant, 700. And in the green, oh, it's gone. Okay. Colin, oh, you guys? Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. So now we've lost a color, Miss Meredith. Sold out back in April on the 29th. Back in stock today. We're now up to, uh, got to be over 7,000. Beg your pardon, 8,000. 8,000 of these are gone. Do we have time to say hi to Peggy? Let's say hi to Peggy in Illinois. Peggy, how are you today? I'm fine. How are you guys? Really We're very well. well. What do you think of this gorgeous little cutie patootie two-quart pressure cooker? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm a senior citizen, and we're empty nesters, my husband and I. Yes, ma'am. And I have been absolutely afraid, even though I consider myself a good cook, to use a pressure cooker. Mm. And I no disrespect to the bigger ones. I'm sure they're phenomenal. But for a first-time person, oh. a first-time user, to use the little two-quart one, to me, it'll break me in, and maybe I'll buy the bigger one later. Well, I think but it's a, I don't feel as intimidated. Well, I, that makes sense to me, actually, Peggy. And I think that's a great idea because, you know, maybe one day you're going to want to make bigger meals. And this is also a great thing to make your side dishes in when you're using a bigger one. But you're going to have no problem. If you need any assistance, you can always reach me on Blue Jean Chef on Facebook. And I do have a lot of information on my website. So come on, let me know how that worked for you. I'd love to hear. Exactly. And Peggy, I don't know if you have invested in Meredith's book, uh, One Pot Comfort, but there are lots of great uh, pressure cooker ideas in this as well. And it's on five pay well, for just for the four hour I show. Would, I would love to buy it. If you can, when we're done, if you can transfer me back to the operator, I would love to get that cookbook. We would be and happy I'm to. And I'm so looking forward to using this. I, I want to make, I want to make pot roast, pulled pork and I consider it an honor and a privilege to speak to you both. And I'm oh. so excited about this product. 
How lovely. That Peggy, is so nice. if you'll hold the line, don't hang up. We'll give you right back to the operator. Tell them you'd like to order Meredith's book. And uh, if you'd like, you can have the five easy payments because everything's on five pay until 4 p.m. Eastern, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you both have a blessed day. You, you too. too Peggy. Bye -bye. Thanks, Peg. Thank Be well. You.